Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the Stephane Hubbard Lucas trilogy of fragrances within his 777 line. Now there are more than three in the 777 line, um, but these three are the priced, the highest, they're the most expensive of all the ones out of that particular line. So let's go ahead and get it going. Two of them are still in production and then one of them is discontinued. I was finally able to get the discontinued oud fragrance which was one that i did not think that i would find so i'll start by talking about my favorite one and then move down to my least favorite one but they're all pretty good so let's go ahead and get it going now this first one is the favorite from the line it's also the first one that i bought i'll actually be talking to you about them in the order that i received them as well and this one is uma i've talked about uma a number of times it was released in 2015 this one is considered an amber fragrance it also is considered to be a rose oud fragrance though i personally would not consider it that it's very powdery uh, it reminds me more of the mahmoud bakur or incense that are famous here in the middle east this one contains the most listed notes uh, of any of the other three and some of them are Moroccan Rose, Bulgarian Rose, Jasmine, Toru Balsam, Peru Balsam, Oud, and Nargamatha, or Cypriot Oil. And this one again is a powdery, it is sort of like a very slight Oud Rose type of scent, um, but it's nothing that you either get Oud or a, if anything you'll get more Rose from, but there's a lot of powderiness from it. Maybe it's coming from the uh, Cypriot Oil or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but when I very first smelled this, it just reminded me of that particular incense mahmoud and that's the reason why i bought it at the time this was the most expensive fragrance that i had ever purchased and i still got like 15 or 20 percent off so even with the other two that i got this is still the most that i've spent on let's move on to the next one the next one is ohira this one is supposed to be a representation of fossilized amber it's also called the hulk of amber it was released in 2014 and i didn't talk about the prices um all of the other ones in the line are less expensive. These retailed for 395 euros, and on the US sites, they were like $485. So they were like ridiculous prices. I didn't pay nearly that much for these. Uh, so next one I'll talk about is Ohira. Here's the bottle presentation. This is my second favorite from the line. Some of the notes mentioned in this besides uh, ambergris are going to be leather, woody notes, and styrax. There's not much else listed here, but this is a like quintessential amber fragrance, which is along the lines of a amber absolute from Tom's Ford or a uh, the the Serge Lutens one. So it's it it's very similar to those that typical amber core which is like resinous and spicy this is a very good one as well all three of these are really strong and projecting fragrances they're not like completely beast mode but if you spray enough they would be and they all come in 50 ml size this is my second favorite one it is like i said it's very similar to the other ones that i've mentioned so i don't own amber absolute anymore i sold that one uh, and this one is is um just as good if not better than something like amber absolute moving on to the last one and the last one oud i was able to pick up right before i went on holiday and here it is right before i went on holiday it popped up on a site a guy that i got the amber one from ohira so i just went on ahead and picked it up i never smelled it before so it was a blind buy oud 777 was also released in 2014 the notes on this one are pretty simple oud leather tonka bean it um people a lot of people on fragrantica said that it reminds them of ohira which it has some similarities but they are different i do not get a lot of oud from this one and this is probably like the oldest bottle of the three it's beast mode again, but it's more like resinous, a deep resinous scent with like some sweetness to it. Almost like a like a caramel or chocolatey type of feel. Uh, this one is my least favorite of the three. It is good. The reason why I would say it's my least favorite because it wasn't what I was expecting. The other thing that threw me off was the name Oud. And so I didn't get a lot of animalic from it. Um, I guess maybe you can slightly get a little bit from it. It is 
uh, again beastly type of scent so be careful on the sprays with all of these but especially this one I got some uh, like negative reaction but I don't get a lot of animalic from it uh, the other thing that threw me off is that it's called oud so I was looking for more animalics in it I was expecting something that was going to be more off-putting and this one was not this is definitely more tame on the anima animalic side but the other thing is again it's named oud and the other ones are derived from um, arabic and islamic terms umma and ohira which is the cave where uh, the prophet muhammad received his first revelation and umma just means community in arabic but it's strong it, it's mentioned a number of times people talk about that when they talk about islam whereas oud i think even as a sin and a marketing tactic i think it would have been better served had it been named something in that same vein to where the consumer isn't really expecting something and then let down by that because i would not if i had like a list of like oud fragrances i wouldn't even put that in here this is more of like a, a amber woody type of scent so that's it guys those are the three fragrances from the stephane humber lucas 777 uh, trilogy i'm calling it i'm making that up a trilogy collection those were the three most expensive fragrances in that particular line Oud again is discontinued. The other two are still available. I saw that O'Hara is currently now sold out on the site, but it hasn't been discontinued as of yet. I'm not a the uh, the hugest fan of Stephane Humber Lucas. I am a fan of these three, despite what I said about Oud. But while I'm here, I did want to mention the other two fragrances I have in the line. So this will be my my whole collection from Stephane Humber Lucas. So the other two I have is Rose de Petra. So this is named after Petra, which is in uh, Jordan. And this is like a dirty rose fragrance. I like this one a lot, as you see. And the last one was one I got before I got Oud. I did have to order it online because it was sold out here. And this one is Koho de Bahrain. And this is a, uh, like a sweet resinous powdery type of scent. I, I do like this one. I was trying to hunt it down. I missed out on it when they were uh, on sale before they were getting rid of some of the collection. So that's it guys. That's the three fragrances and the most expensive uh, part of the line. And then uh, the other two that are in my collection. So that's my entire Stephane Humber Lucas collection. I'm really not interested in picking up any others from um, the house, not at the moment. We'll see, it's just, you know, so many things to choose from, so many houses, so many fragrances, but that's pretty much it, guys. Have you tried any of the 777 Trilogy line? Have you tried O'Hara or Uma or Oud? Please let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.